dual line LISM, which is connected up to power. And the output of the LISM is going to the device under test, which in this case is an Aris Doxis modem. Before we started this video, I did a ambient measurement. And what that does is uh, you make sure that in this case, the power cable was unplugged from the modem. And I took a measurement uh, to see if anything is being added in from the environment that should not be there. Uh, once you take an ambient measurement to make sure nothing is going to be going over the limit line, which is this blue line right here, then uh, you'd be good to go for to take your actual measurements. To do that, we first must select which line we want to test, and in this case we're going to test line one. And you'll note that the output of the RF port on the LISN is connected up to a, a transient limiter so that it will protect your uh, spectrum analyzer. That has a 10 dB drop, uh, so we must account for that. So I have added corrections into this uh, spectrum analyzer uh, to account for the 10 dB drop in the transient limiter and also for any uh, attenuation that is coming from the LIS in itself. Um, we just apply the correct correction fi uh, files, turn them on, and it's ready to go. So at this point, our DUT is running and ready to go. We have the ambient trace which is actually two traces at this point I took trace one did the ambient and then I set it to view so that way when we do this run to look at the emissions that the dud is putting off we can see the reference of the ambient measurement so now we're just going to go ahead and push the start button And this new trace, the pinkish purplish trace, <laughs> is showing the actual emissions that the dut is putting off. Now, once it